Hello YouTube. This is uh, Jeremiah from Econo Power. I'm just giving you guys a quick video from a video um, that I just saw here about a 600 watt um, unit that a guy was using down there, I believe in Australia. And uh, I wanted to show you my system and how we're set up. Now, it, I'm gonna go ahead and give you advice that you know it's best to go ahead and ignore anything that you see that's in the way that's not about solar or power because we're still remodeling. Hey, Sierra. Hey, Daddy. That's yeah, my little dirt daughter in there. But when you're remodeling, just wash some clothes. Um, honestly, haven't built the clothesline that we want to. The bed still hasn't been made. I'm still actually dressed like I'm going to work. But anyway, um, take you outside and let you see what I got here. This is a mobile home that I recently purchased outright. Um, and we've been remodeling it since. Um, got my trailer there that I'm working on. My supplies, things like that. And you got full open uh, yards. And those are my neighbor's yards there. They grow cactuses, have chickens, things like that. But anyway, this is uh, my system. I have a combiner box here. Um, this box here actually goes down, feeds into the line, goes down to the ground so I can drive over it and goes into the house. Um, where it's fused on the inside of a of a battery box or whatnot um, And basically that that does the work for me as far as getting the electricity into the home instead of having um, a bunch of random wire going in I got one uh, 8 gauge set of wires going in feeding my positive and, and uh, negative now what you see here is I have uh, Basically two kilowatts of power here. I've been able to get more than that. Um, it's what now March 7th 8th somewhere around there. So uh, the winter just passed but in the winter time I, I got as much as 2.2 kilowatts believe it or not out of this system These are four uh, 300 watt Renogy panels um, And then those right there are also four uh, Renogy 100 watt panels and then I have a mixture up there um, of four 85 watt Renogy panels. They're already that the same um, Voltage for all the black panels the blue panels are rated a little bit higher um, I found that uh, with my MPPT charge controller. I'm able to get um, <clears throat> If I reset it every 90 minutes, I'm able to get maximum power point So I I didn't I ha used to have uh, two in uh, charge controllers that ran the two different types of solar cells uh, for polycrystalline and monocrystalline, but when I ran my tests, um, honestly, the output was negligible. Um, with you having a full two kilowatts um, and and running that um, through your system, I'm probably losing. I couldn't guesstimate the math. I didn't do it, but I'm probably losing maybe 60, 70 watts uh, here and there. But the fact that I'm not having to run a second charge control on my battery bank at night, and you know, the fact that it's a, a really a small amount of energy when you big scheme of things um, I'm saving money on the cost of that charge controller I was able to sell and uh, the power that I'm using and I'll just show you a quick backside shot of this um, in the winter time I was able to get this thing to freeze and that was awesome because I was getting like I said maximum power the highest point I got recorded was 2.2 kilowatts and as you can see this thing's not buttoned up nice but it's uh, serving a function because it's temporary um, until I move now we've recently had a tornado out this way and believe it or not <laughs> um, we didn't get hit directly but um, about 30 miles uh, uh, west of us I was I actually did get a, um, a impact from that uh, this uh, panel right here actually blew over and broke the uh, MC4 connection but <laughs> this thing's actually pretty rugged because I was able to screw it back down using my washers to the wood um and i got it back working no problem i have these two large panels actually in uh series and then in parallel with these and the four panels that are 100 watt are in parallel with the each string and like i said they come into a combiner box here now on the inside um because i don't know how to pause the camera i'm gonna just simply walk you in ignore the mess but uh on the inside you'll see where i have my fuse box this is one of my little side projects. I actually have two uh, 265 watt uh, energy panels there hooked up to a um, backup power supply. So um, that actually works pretty well for me. 
I, I haven't used it in an emergency situation or anything, but I just thought it'd be neat to work out. And again, we just washed clothes. Um, we don't have a clothesline. We do have a dryer, which I only run on the generator or on a um, day that we're fully uh, full. But you'll find out with running it with a generator. The generator is actually peak out somewhere around 5,000 watts. So I had to buy a 7,000 watt just to be able to get that thing to run. But man, it's uh, it's actually starting to heat up the house pretty quickly. So I decided it's, you know, it's actually better to pay that $3 to go to the dryer. Um, when I pick up the kids and just try to close that way or I'll buy a clothesline and hang it outside anyway uh, here's my control panel you can see here out back power systems powering the planet they rock um, built this uh, custom frame here I actually have a watering system uh, set up son I'm on the camera can you leave this way thank you all right so you guys can watch TV yes uh, the kids just got out of school, so anyway, I'll show you what we got here. I built a custom, uh, custom wall here. No, nah. I built a custom wall here, and then I put doors on on it. Um, my wife keeps her laundry soaps and stuff up there until we finish up here. Still framing that wall out and all that good stuff, but for the most part, the rest of the house is done. I changed out the lights. This is a 48 inch LED strip light. Pulls about 18 watts. Um, then I got one string of a 48 volt battery bank, 205 amp hours, and then I multiply that times three, and I have so around 600 and what is that? 615, 620 and uh, amp hours on a 48 volt, which is the equivalent of about um, 2400 watt hours. I'm sorry, amp hours when it comes down to a 12 volt battery. Now behind here is my control box. Um, this is again something custom got my fire smoke detector thing in there uh got my uh of course my outback power inverter i have two of these but only one of them hooked up it actually is uh hooked up through um let me think of the gauge i think i used a uh, six gauge wire on that and it goes into a bus bar which is found behind this which is fused and then goes back through you can't probably see but let me turn this light off That's my inverter turned on. Not my inverter, but my power charge controller turned on. It pulled itself off. It's in that little corner there. Um, my uh, my FlexNet DC is down there. You can see the lights coming from it. So if you can turn this light on. Uh, you can see my uh, battery diesel fitter plugged in there. And then my manual off switch. Well, I wish I had my time, but there's a disconnect, DC disconnect, down at the bottom on the floor where those two wires come up and in and through the house. Um, right here, you have my wiring that goes to all my networks, my 